hey bro i gotta keep it a buck with y'all real quick when you change for the sake of women you really put yourself in a lose-lose situation and i'm not talking about self-improvement i'm talking about changing certain things for the sake of women that's not in your nature to change bro and it's a lose-lose situation because a, she's telling you you're not good enough, right? In her eyes. But then you change this thing and she confirms to herself that you are not good enough because she was so easily able to change you, sway you, and pretty much turn off your masculinity, bro. That's why you see so many guys get emasculated by these women, bro. That's why you see so many guys end up getting left when it's all said and done. Man, I did everything I needed to do, bro. She said she wanted me to do all of this stuff. She wanted me to change all of this. She wanted me to act more like this. But then when I started acting like that, she left me, bro. Or she stopped treating me like I was high value, bro. That's why you get that so much. Because the minute that you decide to change your course as a man, as a result of her, bro, she no longer respects you, bro. She no longer respects your masculine core. And therefore, she don't feel safe around you, bro. But even more so, she knows that, oh, you just somebody, you putty in my hands. You the Play-Doh I used to play with when I was in third grade. And I'm going to make a bunch of dumb clown faces with you. That's what she gonna do. She gonna use you, abuse you, cause it's in her nature, bro. And that's not inherently evil. She not inherently bad. That's not what she trying to do, but it's in her nature, bro. It's a survival mechanism for her. So that's what's gonna happen until she comes along and finds something better or a man that has a direction that she cannot sway off of his path in that way. That's what she gonna come to, bruh. See, here's the thing. A lot of y'all guys, y'all let these women talk to you. Some of y'all guys, y'all got called ugly one time in grammar school. Now you swear you the ugliest dude ever. And so you're putting every woman who like you on a pedestal because you think you ugly and you don't deserve to have options. Let's talk about it. Because because you don't think you deserve to have options, you overvalue every option that you get. And guess what happens when you overvalue options? You lose. It's like in the NBA with the trade machine, bro. If you overvalue your assets, guess what? You're going to end up a bad franchise because you're not going to know what you can get for your players on the trade market. It's just like with women, bro. When you overvalue your options, you lose. They take advantage of you because they realize, oh, you don't think you could do better. You don't think you deserve better. I'm the best you could get. That means you got to kiss up to me. That means you have to kiss my ass to stay in my good graces because i am the tip top of the totem pole and i know that and you know that and so what can you really do about it so you put yourself in this squeeze position where you can't do nothing about it and guess what she gonna do hey i love it here i'm gonna take full advantage of what i'm able to do to you because a it serves me and her survival mechanism it serves that because now she get whatever she want out of you. She get the security and all of that. But without giving you the investment that she has to give any other guy who is a high value male to get that security. To get those results. To get those things. It's like going to the store and them telling you, hey, what you want out the store? You can just get it for free, bro. So you gonna walk in the store grabbing everything you can because you know you don't have to pay a red cent to get it. As opposed to, like it really is, you gotta go in the store and when you go in the store, you gotta pay money for whatever you get. You ain't gonna go in there grabbing anything. You ain't gonna go in there putting everything in the cart, bro. You ain't gonna be just scooping stuff in your cart like you at, you on a shopping spree you ain't gonna be doing all that. So think about it. Don't overvalue your options, bro, with women. And the, and, and the worst thing about overvaluing your options is you're always gonna lose. There is no upside to overvaluing your options, bro, but there is an upside to never letting a woman change 
the way that you view things and the path that you own as a man and the way that you operate and conduct things. You supposed to get a woman or not let a woman come back unless she willing to adhere to your program. See, the problem with too many of y'all guys is y'all adhering to the woman's program. And the minute you do that, she know you doing that, bro. Women are naturally intuitive. They know these things, bro. They know when a dude is putting them on a pedestal. They know when a dude care more than they care. And what do we talk about? The person who care the least got the most power in the relationship, bro. The person who care the least will always be the individual who steers the ship and has control of the relationship, bro. And guess what? When you allow women to be in control of the relationship, which is a place they don't want to be. Let's talk about that. They don't want to be in control of the relationship. They become fucking tyrants. Tyrants, bro. They're tyrannical. And you want to know why they tyrannical? They're tyrannical because they don't want to be in that position. Because guess what? Have you ever asked a woman to make a decision about something? You can't get her to choose a fucking item off the menu. Let alone make a big decision about where she wants to go next. As far as life plans, as far as a relationship, as far as steering the ship. My ass is, I don't know, or I don't know, what do you think? That means she putting a ball back in your court, bro. That's her saying, look, I don't want to change the course that you set. Problem with y'all is, y'all put the ball back up. I don't know, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you think? Bro, forget that. Become a man. Become a masculine man. And take control of the situation. Too many of y'all are like putty and you easily change because you're not grounded in who you are, bro. Because you don't make the hard decisions. Because you put that choice in this woman's hands and she don't want that, bro. Too many of y'all lose your girl or lose your roster girls or whatever because, yeah, you a high-value male at first, but then she realized you ain't as high-value as you think you are because you get feelings for this girl, and then you become putty. You let her change you. You let her mold you when in reality, you supposed to be changing her. You supposed to mold her, bro. Feminine energy opens to receive that means to receive advice that means to receive direction which is what masculine energy is having direction bro feminine energy is about following the lead bro and that don't mean you gotta be a tyrant that don't mean you gotta force it that don't mean you gotta be abusive none of that bro that just means bro you gotta make the hard decisions when the hard decisions need to be made that just means you gotta be grounded in yourself that just means you can never let a woman change who you are because the minute you let her change you now she don't respect you click that video right there man for that top-notch game and subscribe i'm out of here